Hey, so I've had some people ask me in previous videos about um, where I was talking about animal documentaries that I watch and how there are a lot of lessons that we could should be learning from nature, right? Um, especially when it comes to like, not just child freeness, but also specifically for the women and like femme people that want to have children like like be partnered and have children with men like uh there's a lot of lessons in nature when it comes to the kinds of requirements that we should be requiring from partners that we would have children with so i'm going to share some of those examples right now starting with this little guy right here this is the japanese pufferfish also called the puffer pufferfish artiste um this puffer fish is goals. Also, hi, my name is Shana Conde. I talk a lot about being child-free, decentering men, all of that stuff, and how to do so joyfully. Like no scorn, just joy. Um, feel free to like, follow, subscribe. Also, I'm going to be having memberships. So if you would like more videos and lives and all of that, please feel free to be a member and like give a super thanks, like whatever, if, you, if any of this really resonates. So let's talk about this beautiful, pufferfish. What I'm going to be talking about you could also find on Discovery Plus on a docu, docu series called Life Story Under Courtship. So this is a relatively small fish but very mighty. We'll be talking about the thing underneath it slash what's right here in a hot second but I really just want to focus on like the size of it and also like notice its fins. So there's some pufferfish that can grow up to two feet or more. That's not this guy. That's not this guy. Um, why do I bring up its fins? Because the amount of precision that this puffer fish is able to exhibit um, with the creation of the thing underneath that we're going to be talking about in a hot second shows so many qualities and characteristics that I think that people that are looking for men that like want to reproduce with them should be requiring. Because not just and you shouldn't just have babies by any old man. Just because he's nice to you doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to be a good father. But you know who's going to be a good father? This puffer fish. So using nothing but its little body, it is able to create this. This. There's depth, there's dimension, there's hills, there's ridges. Also, it puts all of the softest sand in the middle and creates these structures. Also, on the, all of these little ridges, it de decorates them. You see up here? You see up here how it has a little shell in its mouth? It uses sh different shells like those to decorate all of, you could kind of see them here, to decorate all of the um, ridges on the outer rim. It takes about a week for a puffer fish to actually make one of these. And it is not just like, oh, okay, I work a little bit today. I work a little bit for like two hours. No, no, no. Because this is in the ocean and there are constantly currents coming, this needs constant maintenance. This, you think a man buying you flowers is a big deal? With its little body, it created this. With those tiny fins, it has shown strength to create these massive ridges and divots over here. It also shows um, intricacy, delicacy to create all of this in, in the middle and to bring the softest sand in and to move all of the bigger pieces out. It shows intentionality. None of, no two of these are exactly the same. Even by the same pufferfish, it could never recreate the exact same one. So there is a level of personal touch, artistry that is made in this. And Male pufferfish make this long before a female is even in the area. There are a lot of men, there are a lot of men, I would argue most men, the majority of men, that do not get themselves in order to be partners, to be fathers, to be whatever, until there is a woman right in front of him. That pufferfish made this over the course of a week non-stop work and there was not even a female present this is just preparing the space do you know how many men don't even like this 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 is the standard this is the bar now here's the kicker each woman needs to figure out what this is for herself every person that dates men needs to figure out what this is for themselves 
especially if you want to have children by these men, because let's discuss a little bit more about why this is created in this way. Not only is it beautiful and eye-catching and female pufferfish can see this from far away, but it also is necessary for the breeding process, for the mating process, for the courtship process. So what generally happens is that a female pufferfish comes along and he try, he gently coaxes her, no pushing, no shoving, no arguing, no cussing her out, gently pushes her to the very center so that way she has the best view to see all of the hard work that he's done. She analyzes, she inspects, he goes to the outside, just waits for her to be done. After she's done inspecting, she will then move to the outside and stay there, like just on the outer rim and stay there. And then the next, Next day, like a day goes by and he moves and like pushes all of the sand, he makes it into a soft bed for her so that way she can lay her eggs there in the softest sand. Now, mind you, at this point, the female is already full of eggs. She just needs them to be fertilized and to be watched over. She does not watch over these eggs. This, he is an active father, a pro, a proactive father. So they go, they fertilize the eggs in the, like this middle picture right here, this is what a, this is what it looks like. This is the, this is for the courtship process. This is for the mating process. They, all of this soft sand then becomes a bed. So they go and she, they, she, he like kind of bites onto her a little bit so that way they don't like lose each other. And then he fertilizes all of the eggs and they get dropped right in here in the softest sand. And then he, with his body, covers over the sand, covers over the eggs with his body so that way they don't fly away. But also it has to be soft sand so that way it doesn't puncture the eggs. So they keep doing this over the course of hours, right? Until all of the eggs have been fertilized and then a homegirl goes and swims off. She goes about her life. He then stays, the, the, the male then stays and continues to swim over the eggs, keeping them from like getting cemented together, together stuck together. Also probably like ox, oxygenating, ox, ox, creating ox, oxidized, no, not oxidized, pushing like oxygen and movement <laughs> through these eggs. So that way they have the best chance for survival. And he does this until they hatch. Now, I'm not saying that every man is gonna be your puffer fish. In fact, I'm saying most men will not be your puffer fish. And you should not, you should not have kids with anybody that cannot be your puffer fish. This, this so shows intentionality. This shows artistry, this shows care, this shows the female all of the qualities that she needs to see in order to know not just that he would protect the eggs, but also that genetically he is capable of helping her to produce the strongest, healthiest offspring for the next generation. How do we know this? Because the amount of strength and dexterity that it takes and creativeness to, that it takes to build something like this and keep it maintained enough for the courtship process for the mating season, not just with these tiny little fins. A lot of other puffer fish, like within the same species, probably are not able to do this. So this shows her that he has the qualities necessary for their children, their offspring to thrive. So I just, as a child-free person who is joyfully child-free, I'm not interested even if I find, I can find my puffer fish and he'll stay and he gonna be with me, he gonna stay with me, all of that stuff, right? But we're not having kids. Now for the people that want their puffer fish and also wanna have babies, you need to figure out what it is that you're looking for, especially when it comes to fatherhood because there's a whole bunch of things that I don't have to worry about when it comes to partnership that people who want children need to be very concerned with. To which I ask you, what are the qualities that you are looking for in your puffer fish? It has to be more than he's cute, he's funny, he's over six foot. Does not That does not matter when it comes to the depth of what we were talking about that these puffer fish ladies are looking for. What are your requirements? And you don't have to tell me. I mean, I'd love to know, but you don't have to tell me, but you have to know for yourself. I'm gonna be making more of these videos. If you like it, please let me know in the comments. Um, once again, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all those great things. And I will be talking to you guys later. Bye-bye.